Okay, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to get to orbit in Kerbal Space Program. Where we're going to first build our rocket. Uh, let's see. No. Crap. New. And we want this one. Accept. And we're going to go ahead and build a lander on this. Uh, that's just so that if we do a, uh, do a, um, a lander tutorial uh, later on, I'll already have the, the, the rocket built. So, I get the Mark 16 parachute. We're going to change the symmetry to bilateral. Uh, that, that puts two of these on here instead of just one. I'm going to change the symmetry to uh, quadrilateral symmetry. Let's see this straight on here. We're scooching it down a bit because uh, the engine is probably going to be a bit large. We're going to use a non-vectoring engine. This engine is probably a little too big for the lander, but um, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to use the, the modded um, engines that I have that are probably better for it. I'm going to put in an advanced, nope, advanced SAS. Okay. Gonna put in a fuel duct. Again, this is only for uh, version 0.15, which is the pay version. If you uh, if you get the uh, the free version, you'll have to find another way to do this. Okay, and landing leg. Okay, for the first uh, stage engine, it's a stock part uh, for, v for version 0.15. Uh, you can't stack it though, so you can't use it for like a second stage engine. But for a first stage engine, it's uh, pretty powerful. Uh, it's got a max thrust of 225. So <coughs> this is the to toroidal uh, aerospike rocket. Okay. Okay. And because this is not going to be good for uh, sitting on, we'll just use a standard uh, non-vectoring engine. That. Always use your supports. <coughs> okay. And for an extra little kick, we're going to put on a couple solid rockets. Okay, those are all on the same stage, so I think it might work. Let's give it a launch. Oh, save. <coughs> save as test rocket. Save. And launch. Okay, SAS on. Throttle to maximum. I'm not testing this yet. We'll see how it goes. You said we've had a problem. Okay, well I made a few modifications to the beast. It's still s basically the same layout. The top part up here is exactly the same except for I added some uh, struts uh, to kind of hold it all bit together better. Down here I've pretty much just uh, duplicated the, the side engines, made four of them, uh, and uh, put little winglets on the rocket boosters, solid rocket boosters. And let's save it. And let's see, and let's see how it flies. Throttle to maximum. SAS on. Three, two, one, and lift.
it's up to um, uh, 15,000 meters. Uh, we're going to tilt it over uh, about uh, heading 90 degrees, about 45 degrees up. Okay, I'm at 13,000 meters. Turn SAS off and start tilting it over. M for map. Right now our ap apoapsis is uh, 27,000 feet, which is not high enough, but we still got plenty of fuel. Okay, throttle down a little bit. I got a mod part that I usually use for this engine here, but um, that's, I'm trying not to use mod parts for this demonstration. Uh, but you want, for, for this, you want a, uh, as powerful an engine as you can get. Okay, see, we're, um, we're, we're uh, increasing altitude, but we are also kind of moving sideways there, as so that it'll be easier for us to get a nice round orbit. If I had it to do over again, I probably would have put two engines on the second stage instead of just one, uh, because that's kind of kind of being weak right now. But I think we'll make it. I usually aim for about uh, eighty thousand uh, meters to um, uh, one hundred thousand meters, but uh, eighty thousand is certainly high enough to get out of the atmosphere. Okay. We're going to wait to get closer to our to our apogee to hit it again. close enough. Okay, we're going to get wait until until we get to the the uh, apoapsis. Uh, that's because we're trying to increase the periapsis, which is right now is inside the the planet. Uh, in order to increase the periapsis, uh, you do a uh, prograde thrust at the apoapsis. Prograde is this little symbol right here looks kind of like a cross, but except without the uh, without the uh, lower part. That's uh, your prograde indicator. That's that's the direction of your travel. Uh, so we're going to turn prograde uh, and fire it up. Okay. It should be increasing pretty well. Okay, once it starts kind of peeking out the other side, we'll start decreasing the throttle. Okay, notice that my apoapsis here is at 131,000 uh, 131, meters. 
my my periapsis is 56,000 uh, meters, which is basically in the atmosphere. Um, however, once I hit that, uh, it'll actually bring down my apoapsis because I'll actually be hitting in the atmosphere a little bit. Uh, when you if you slow down at your lowest point, um, it'll it'll slow down. It'll decrease your highest point. If you slow down at your highest point, it'll decrease your lowest point. If you speed up at your lowest point, it'll increase the 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 uh, the height of the highest point. If you speed up at the highest point, it'll increase the height of the lowest point. Okay, uh, so I mentioned the um, pr uh, prograde indicator. It looks like a little cross uh, here uh, with no bottom part. Okay, I'll show you the retrograde indicator. It looks very similar, except, except it's trying to triangular, and it has a little X in the middle of it. It's kind of hard to see. But the triangular one is a retrograde that's against the, the direction of your travel. And the cross-shaped one is prograde that's in the direction of your travel. Okay. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. I'm actually cruising to the upper atmosphere right now. See my atmosphere meter, and that's why it won't. Well, let's try off the SAS. Yeah, let me go faster than uh, two times normal speeds in the atmosphere. Hello, Earth. I hope I don't meet you too violently. Okay. Okay, I speeded things up a little bit. Here's our spacecraft. Here's the high point of our orbit, the apoapsis. Uh, it has decreased to 112,000 meters, which is great. That's, that's where we want it about. Uh, the periapsis, the low part of our, our orbit, is much too low. It's actually in the atmosphere. That's uh, at 56,000 meters. Uh, so we're going. Our next step is going to bring that up to about the same as this one. You know, at or at least above 80,000 uh, meters. Uh, so we're coming up on our burn to do that. And if you ever want to know uh, where you, how to find out what your apoapsis is, it's this little shield-shaped thing here at the top of your orbit. Uh, it'll tell you uh, how high it is and when you're going to get there. And same thing for the the apoapsis or periapsis, uh, which is the low point of your orbit. So we're getting going up on our apoapsis here. Let's go ahead and uh, turn prograde. That's in the direction of our travel, prograde. See this little cross-shaped thing here? Whoop. Okay. Speed it up just a tad. You want to do your orbital correction burn about as cl uh, close to uh, either the apoapsis or periapsis as you can. Bearing in mind that your uh, main your burn may take some time, depending on how strong your engines are. Okay, we're turning prograde again. That's that little greenish or greenish yellowish indicator. Okay, and we're going to fire up the engines. And see, our periapsis is increasing gradually. That's about, that's about fine. 90,000 is fine. If we wanted to, we could try to make it perfectly circular. Close enough. Okay, that's how to get to orbit. And so we have a nice round orbit here. Uh, and next time we will get to the moon.